Dennis Laventhal, publisher of Hits Magazine. We're at the Hits Magazine offices in Hollywood, California. Hits Magazine is a trade publication um, that was started 20 years ago by my partner Lenny Bear and myself. Um, trade publication that um, whose audience is the music business and the community around the music business, artists, producers, writers, record companies, radio stations, um, agents, people that have an interest in finding out what's going on inside the music business. The magazine itself is mostly read by people um, in the industry, people that are working in the industry in the United States. Uh, most of the people working in the industry in the United States live in Los Angeles and New York. Um, and there's some readership in um, Japan and England and other parts of Europe. Well, it's primarily a uh, news slash information uh, magazine. As we have the news of what's going on in the industry on a, a weekly basis and also information about um, charts, uh, about radio airplay, about sales information, um, columns about specific areas of the business, um, A&R uh, column about who's being signed to what labels, and um, also what things are selling where and who's doing the selling of them, and just kind of a broad overview of what's going on in the industry. We do a lot of uh, more uh, prognosticating, and um, we kind of take a look at what's going to be happening rather than what is ha has happened. Um, we predict what's going to happen, and uh, we've been pretty successful at it. My partner and I, uh, 20 years ago, uh, were trying to decide what we were going to do um, with our bus various businesses that we had at the time. And he, he had worked at a magazine called Record World about 10 years prior to that. And he, he thought we should start a, 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 a trade magazine. And that was kind of the genesis of it. We have an editorial department, and then we have departments that work with editorial on, in various genres of music. Um, we have a, a top 40 department, we have an alternative department, we have a rhythm department, we have a rock department. Um, so all of the, we try to cover most of the genres of music. We don't cover country music, we don't cover classical, we don't cover really jazz. Um, but almost all areas of popular music we cover. Um, and we have a retail division that works with the various people who sell records around the country. And we trade information with those, with those people about what's going to be selling, what is selling, uh, kind of like a communication between us and the people selling the music. I grew up in Seattle and my father was um, a record distributor and retailer and rack jobber. He was a merchandiser of, of recorded music. And uh, I worked for him from the time I was probably you know, 11, 12 years old, um, all the way through college, after college, and then some, some, a record company offered me a job in Los Angeles and I moved here in my early 20s. And then? Worked, in, uh, worked inside a record company for uh, half a dozen years and then uh, a bunch of us got fired at the company and we went into business. I went into business with my partner Lenny Bear. Yeah, Lenny and I have been partners for uh, a little over 25 years. Um, we have partners' desks. We sit across from each other in the same room, and um, you know, it's it, for me. It's been a great situation. I hope it's been good for him. Twenty-five years, um, and uh, it's it. It's good to have some. I felt it was good to have somebody that, like you know, you can close the door with and say, "What the f are we going to do now?" Um, that's how I feel about partnerships. There's a couple of things that I think that are noteworthy. Um, in the recorded music area, if you look at 
um, what the top sellers are for last year and what the top sellers are for the beginning of this year, you'll find that it's very adult leaning artists. I think that most, a lot of the younger audience isn't buying records anymore, but they're um, getting their music on the internet, and not paying for it because um, it's so readily available. I think the advent of Apple's iTunes has made it a bit more of a, a one-song oriented business as, uh, at, rather than an album business. People are buying one song rather than buying the whole album. What's a, a more adult music? Uh, it's really less, less hip-hop, less rock, um, more song-oriented, more in the um, 35 plus. I think American Idol has had a a big impact on it. You see the artists that are successful on American Idol. I think those artists that pop Americana is something that's translated right across the whole spectrum of, of pop music. Mm -hmm. And it's had, a, it's had a huge impact on the uh, on the music of, of what's popular today. Songwriters and musicians, I always feel like the important thing is to, to find out an identity of who you are musically, what your poetry is all about, um, and try to, try to do things that are real to you. Try to express real emotions and real feelings. Um, I think that those real feelings and emotions um, that people can connect to those things. Um, in the non-creative part of the, of the business, um, I think a love of music is important um, for executives that are entering the music business today. We don't have a lot of entry-level positions in the music business for young executives. Um, the, the the amount of people in the industry is shrinking rather than growing dramatically. Um, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. So is there any advice? Yeah, go into television. <laughs> <laughs>